Hi everyone, welcome to my tutorial on how to create a horizontal bar chart in Tableau. Magnum BI at your service. <laughs> Let me first show you guys where you can find the data set that I'll be using so that you can follow along. So you open up Tableau Public, click on Help, uh, click on Training, and then click on the Sample Data tab, and then scroll down until you find the Government section, and then uh, go ahead and download this data set here, the 2016 Presidential Candidate Spending. Uh, click on that, and then uh, once you're done downloading it, um, what you do is you go back to Tableau, Tableau Public, and then click on Text File, and then you open up the data set. Great. Now you click on Update Now, and there we go. It generates all the data uh, from the spreadsheet or data set. So if you take a look at the data here, you'll see all these null values here uh, for these two columns here. And then you, if you take a look here, you can see all these hashtag ref values, which has got to be some type of null value. I don't know, uh, for in, the, in the party column. So what I'm going to do here is because I'm not going to have a need for either of, the, either of these three columns, I'm simply going to leave the null values as is. And, but, but typically, it's always best practice to deal with your null values prior to analyzing your data set. So I'm going to go to sheet one now. So every time, okay, so every time I load a data set into Tableau, it always breaks it up into dimensions and measures. So dimensions are usually categorical variables. They're fields that describe data records and measures are usually numerical uh, values or variables, uh, which, uh, which are associated with these data records here, okay? So as, an, as a couple of examples for dimensions, uh, I have candidate name, which consists of all the candidates that took part in the 2016 election, and then I have candidate ID, which consists of all the IDs that each candidate is, is associated with. And then for measure, I have, this is short for the disbursement amount or the amount of spending done by each candidate. Uh, so, okay. So in this worksheet, I will create a horizontal bar chart that shows the top 10 candidates with the most spending. And so to do that, I'm going to click on candidate name and I'm going to drag it and I can either drop it here or I can put it into rows. I'll just go ahead and drop it here because the simpler the better, right? <laughs> Great. Now it generates all the candidates that partic participated in the 2016 election. Next, I'm going to click on this disbursement amount, and then as, as soon as I drag it, you can see that it defaults to its aggregated sum. I'm going to put that into columns. There we go. Now it's generated bars for each of the candidates that show the amount of spending done. So if I hover over Jeb Bush, I can see that he had hit that his campaign had spent around $34 million in 2016. Next, I like to go ahead and sort this in descending order. To do that, I'm going to click on the drop down here, click on sort. I'm going to click on field here. I'm going to go ahead and click on descending for sort order. And field name and aggregation are as is, so uh, I, won't, I won't change anything there. And there we go. It sorted the, sorted the spending in descending order. Next, I like to go ahead and filter out the 10 candidates with the most spending. To do that, I can either click on the drop down here, click filter. Or I can hit Control and then click on the candidate name dimension, and I can drag it to filters. Um, either way, I'll get the same result. <laughs> Great. Now I'd like to go ahead. I'll, I'll click on the top tab, click by field, and there we go. I'd like to go ahead and show the top ten candidates with uh, that with the most spending. So there we go. I'm going I'm to click Apply, and there we go. Okay. Next, I'd like to go ahead and do some formatting. I promise this is not as boring as it sounds. <laughs> okay, so to do that, I'm going to, so the first thing I'd like to do is I'd like to go ahead and remove these grid lines. So to do that, I'm going to right click anywhere in my sheet. I'm going to go ahead and click format. Yeah, then I'm going to go ahead and click on the lines icon here. I'm going to click on columns. Then I'm going to select the grid lines drop down and click and select none. And there we go. It's removed the grid lines here from the columns. I'd also like to go ahead and remove this axis ruler here. So I'm going to click on the drop down, select none. There we go. I'd also like to go ahead and select the. Uh, I'd also like to go ahead and remove the axis ruler from the from rows. So I'm just going to go ahead and select none for that as well in the rows tab. Great. 
Next, I'd like to go ahead and remove this header here for the columns, as well as all these values, as um, it's just not needed. So I'm going to select, I'm going to right-click the column here. Then I'm going to go ahead and select Show Header, and there we go, it removes all. Next, I'd like to right-click on the candidate name header and select hide and hide and select hide field labels for rows. There we go. We already have the candidate's name, so it's it's not necessary to have the header. Then I'd like to go ahead and uh, give this a title. So I'd like to go ahead and call this uh, top ten presidential candidate spending. There we go. And then I will go ahead and bold it. And then I'll center it. There we go. Uh, I'd also like to go ahead and change the color of these bars from blue to black. So I'm going to go ahead and select color and select black. There we go. Then finally, I'd like to go ahead and rename this sheet uh, with uh, what the title is here. There we go. Excellent. And I've created my horizontal bar chart. Now, if you take a look here, you can see that Bernie had spent the most in the 2016 election, followed by Hillary. You can also see that Benjamin Carson's campaign had actually spent more than Donald Trump's campaign, <laughs> which I find to be which I find to be pretty interesting. Okay, so there are a few other things that I, that I like to go over before concluding this video. So the first thing is that it's always good practice to uh, rename any worksheets that you create or any dashboards or any stories that you create. Uh, it's also good practice to format all your charts, but it's common sense for a lot of you, I'm sure, right? <laughs> and then finally, if you're to click on Show Me, you can uh, you have access to other types of charts. Uh, so, so for instance, you can you can you can use a packed bubble or even a pie chart to go ahead and depict this data. But for this kind of data, I'd say uh, the winner would be the horizontal bar chart. And if I if I hover over, it, it actually shows that it's a recommended. Uh, uh, chart type for this kind of data here. Uh, horizontal bar charts are always useful when comparing the amount of spending done between two individuals or in comparing the amount of revenue or the amount of sales generated by two companies or two sales reps within a company. So uh, yeah, it's always useful for those scenarios. Yeah. So yeah, that concludes my video on how to uh, create a horizontal bar chart. Uh, in Tableau. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching my video. Uh, feel free to leave a comment below and like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.